So we're going to make this really pretty button hair tie today using the button covering tool and this is a kit from a set that I got from Amazon. It was £14 for this button tool, there was two, two of these in the kit and then a full set of 100 of the buttons which are the back and the front. Now the size I'm using today is 38 millimeters, and they do a whole range. You get 100 in each set with the tools and it goes all the way from 19 millimeters all the way up to 38 which is the biggest size which is the one that I have got for you today. And I have basically been making a whole bunch of knotted headbands as you can see and these are all my little scraps that I had left over. So I had some from the edges so I was getting my designs on these ones got a whole different versions as you can say I was doing some true crime <laughs> versions headbands which and all the fabrics from PB Fabrics who has an amazing range of like more mature adult themed fabrics which are political feminist and things like that um, the nature which is a bit more unusual than you normally see from some suppliers so I've been having great fun with all of those so this is a really really simple thing to do it is perfect for little scraps especially ones that like this that are just too perfect to waste look at that pattern repeat it is just absolutely perfect for these buttons and what I do to get my design in the right place is this is the last bit of my leftover fabric. So with the base bit, which is this, because this is a bit you pop the button together and this is a bit that cups it. So I turn it over and I quite literally work out. So on this one, I'd want to cut a medium out and I take my scissors and I basically do about half a centimetre. bigger than the circle. I do need to take a little bit off this because I went overboard. Don't hold your scissors like I do in some of my tutorials. As you can see I am rather accident prone. And basically you just cut out a design that is going to be bigger than the space you need. I'll put that back out of the way. And then with your tool Always make sure your fabric is facing down into the cup, like this, and then take your cover, which is the base bit, and pop that all the way down there. The other thing that I do is I check my designs where I want it, and if it's not, this is the time to sort of give it a little bit of a move around. If you've got any that are a little bit, a little bit too much fabric over the edge, can give it a little bit of a trim down but don't do too much because otherwise you might not have enough to get it all pushed in so make sure that all of it all the way round fits in and you've got no little bits hanging out so there's no areas where it's going to pop outside of the cover make sure that you've got your wire where you put your hair tie in facing upwards this is the base that goes covers it and the wire should always be on the outside Take your little blue cap and what you do is you just push down until you hear a little pop noise and then you push your finger underneath from the front and there we go we've made a cute little button now I will show you one because I specifically saved one that I had made a mistake on on this one you can see on the edge I didn't quite leave enough my uh, fabric to do that, which is a bit sad because, like I said, it would have been a really nice button otherwise. But always remember that one. And to turn it into a high hair tie, it's really, really simple. I use these seamless, skinny black elastic ones. You can use any colour though. And what I do is where the join is, because you can always see it. So the join's there. Pop that through your wire back. And then from the side where you've got your join, Take the side without the join and pull that up and there and there you go you've got a super cute hair tie bubble like i said it works equally well i have made an awful lot of these like i said i made double work versions as well there's a tutorial for this version as well but i have this whole box here and i have made some more simple Standard colours, doubles and singles, 
I have made different versions of my true crime. I've also got some bike ones. Um, there we go. Serial cats. So, um, there we go. Bite me. Chaos. Most of the ones that aren't uh, just like standard plain fabrics are all from PB Fabrics, as I mentioned earlier. But like I said, they are so easy to make. It is a perfect scrap busting tutorial. It's great for like little add-ons that don't aren't going to cost you too much money. And like I said, they are brilliant for like I said, little scraps and bits like that. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.